Okay, people, get yourselves comfortable. Find a nice seated, comfortable, relaxed position. You may fall asleep. Uh, you can listen to this video in your sleep. If you're sleeping now, that's okay. We want to slow the brain waves. We want to relax and be aware of our breathing. It should be slow and deep. So slow your breathing down. Stretch your lungs and your diaphragm. Pull your diaphragm down. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Relax your head. Relax your face. With each breath, we go slower. Slower and deeper, profundo, despacio. As we breathe, become conscious of our breath, and we stretch our diaphragm down to our feet, stretch our lungs down to our feet, and beyond. We're increasing our lung capacity. We're increasing our breath capacity. If you're doing this correctly, you may be feeling a little lightheaded. And that's okay. Try not to pass out. That's why it's a good idea to do this seated. Or lying down. Close your eyes. Relax, okay? Forget all your worries. And dance, like Bob Marley says. Okay, picture Bob Marley dancing. Can you see a Rasta? Far eye, a Rastafarian dancing in your head with the dread. <laughs> Does it make you smile? Does it make you laugh? Good. Let go. Let go of yourself, okay? If you want to be the energy and not the meat suit, you have my permission to let go, okay? <sighs> Many of you will have an outer body experience, and that's good. You want to be able to separate from the body. Realize who you really are. Within the body or outside of the body, your energy. You are the energy flowing within your body and beyond your body, creating an electromagnetic field an electromagnetic field that surrounds your body, right? That is an extension of yourself, of your true self. You don't end where your skin ends. You don't begin where your skin begins, right? You're way more than that. As you breathe, you're letting go. You're letting go of the shoulder tension, the neck tension, all the muscular tension, all the negative, all the negativity. Let it all go as you breathe out like fire, all that heat, all that anger, all that venom. Yeah. Let it go. Let it pass like clouds in your mind. If you're laying on the beach, 
watching the clouds go by. You need not reach up and try to grab them. Even if you could, could you hold them? Perhaps an exercise in futility. Like much of our actions. If we could continue to slow our breath and thereby our brainwave patterns, relax our energy, we can communicate better. We can understand more. We can grow and we can heal. The body will only heal in a relaxed state. Many of my patients, many of the people I encounter are anything but relaxed in this day and age. So, the most important thing we can do for our success, for our survival, for our health, And to make the world a better place is to relax. Ah, let go of the negative energy. Don't bottle it up. Let it go. Let's focus on the positive energy. As we breathe in, you're breathing in sunlight. You're breathing in energy. You're bringing in electrons and photons and neutrons and protons and all kinds of you know, good particles of energy of possibility. That can coalesce and become matter, become reality. We are creators of reality. We must take responsibility as creators. We must remember there are no accidents. We have created all that surrounds us in our circumstance. We have attracted all that surrounds us. We have chosen it. If we decide this is not our choice, we can reject it. Take responsibility, take ownership. If your circumstances were not created or created by you, perhaps you allowed them to be created or pushed upon you or forced upon you. So take responsibility for that. Take responsibility for your victimhood. As you breathe out the victim, we release the victim within you. Doesn't it feel good? <laughs> you feel lighter? <laughs> ah, to be less the victim. To be more the victor. Let's take control. <sighs> yeah, let's take responsibility. Breathe in that oxygen, that good-ass prana, baby. All right, breathe in that good-ass prana. <sighs> And it's okay to cry if you feel like crying through joy or sadness. As you let go of the comfort of the sadness and the role of the victim. Ah, step into the role of encouragement, of fearlessness, of power, of self-control and discipline, of abundance. of gratitude from the higher emotions we're here in this life to feel our emotions to channel through our emotions not to be caught in them or ruled by them but to understand we can rise above them. We could lay beside them. They don't have to control us. Although sometimes it's fun to let them. <laughs> 
Focus on the breath, now and forever. Especially when we forget about it. And we're reminded to breathe slow and deep for that moment when you're caught up in tension and emotion. Or you're channeling through fear or anger or some negative lower emotions. Despair. Yeah. Relax your shoulders. Let it go. Find where you're hiding the despair. Okay? Let it go. It doesn't serve you. What is its purpose? You know its purpose. To remind you to be contrasted, right? To be the contrast. To remind you to accept your power. All right. So as we take responsibility, as we step into our power, we realize we could create anything we can imagine. And thus lies the deeper responsibility, right? The responsibility of the superhero that many of us avoid. But it's okay to be Batman. It's okay to be Superman. Uh, it's okay to be your own hero, okay? It's okay to be your own superhero. If only for a moment, right? Um, but remember why you came here. Remember what your legacy is to be, okay? That's right. Remember your future as though it were your past. And thus, become the creator, okay? Own it, people. You are the creator. You can create anything. What is your dream? You know? You can always get there and have another dream. All right? There's no limit on your dreams. You don't have to choose only one. Raise the bar. All right? Imagine yourself on 11. Yeah. In your dreams, in your slower brain states in your oxygenated brain, in your oxygenated cells, in your healthy, powerful body that is in complete control, that is in creation mode, right? That is creative. That is free to make mistakes and create through mistakes, right? That's how we create. We find the space to be free, to experiment, which means make mistakes. And thus, perhaps hit the target and find the bullseye. And never miss thereafter, only to split each successive arrow. All right, can you be in the zone forever? I don't know, ask Michael Jordan. <laughs> ask Jesus. <laughs> ask God. <laughs> ask yourself. If you believe you can, you can. not If you believe you can't, <laughs> then perhaps the same is true. All right, so be careful what you believe. Be careful what you wish for. Remember to breathe slow. Remember to relax. Remember this state. Yeah, of mental freedom, of total bliss, of total connection, right? As you feel connected to the earth and the universe, through your feet, through your chakras, beyond the body, through your anchor, your chain, your power cord, to the center of the earth, to the center of the sun, to the universe, the center of the universe and beyond, to all the universe. And the tendrils of your electric cord receiving signals and information and, and electrons and power, right? Recharging you, recharging your antenna, which is projecting 
10 times the energy throughout the universe that you're receiving. Yes, you're an amplifier. You're an energy amplifier. And we amplify the energy through our emotions that we're receiving. Okay, so choose your intention wisely, people. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. Yes, you can. Yes, you will. Yes, you have already. Yes, you always do. <laughs> All right. You got this, people. You got this. You are one with God. You are one with the universe. You were never separate. That's only an illusion. An illusion that just to think of and become aware of momentarily drags your energy down. <sighs> yeah. We create our own obstacles, our own illusions to overcome, to become self-confident. We can skip the middleman, right? You can go straight to being confident. Anthony Robbins talks about sitting up straight, pulling your shoulders back, pulling your, putting your chin out, right? Just standing confident. How do you, how do you feel when you're confident? Can you be humble and confident at the same time? Aha, there's the trick. Remain confident. Remain humble. The more confident you are, the easier it is to be humble. It's when we're not confident truly, when we are insecure, that we cannot remain humble and we fall into arrogance. And conceit, narcissism, self centeredness. As they say, people don't go there, right? But you will. And when you do, say hi and say bye. All right, don't linger. Just move on, keep it moving. All right, as you drift back and realize you're one with all others, okay, you're not separate. Quantum physics says we are one, we're all one. All the species, humanity, all the fish in the sea, all the birds in the sky, all the insects. Like the Buddhists who won't kill an insect, you kill a small part of yourself or your soul. When you don't honor or respect life in any form. It begins with respecting ourselves and honoring ourselves. We honor and respect ourselves by being thankful. By, thinking, by being thankful, right, for our, for our being, for our awareness. For life itself. For it truly is a gift. So as we slowly return back to faster brainwave states, right, as we begin to open our eyes, we will return back towards beta. Is it inevitable? Perhaps not. Perhaps you can stay in an alpha or a theta or a gamma or a deep brainwave state, a slow, relaxed brainwave state where you can function optimally, where you can understand uh, and receive or understand more of the information that you do receive because we're constantly in re reception, we're receiving tons of info, 
but we're not perceiving it. We're not aware of it. We can't process it. Sometimes we need a, a day or a week or a month or a year to process. And sometimes you have to shut down and process. So don't get shut down. All right. Shut down on schedule. Planned shutdowns. Right. Planned backups. Scheduled backups for your computer, for your hard drive is going to be the best plan. All right. Ah. So meditate every day, relax every day. And if you don't have 15 minutes to lay there with your eyes closed, perhaps you can close your eyes for three seconds. Take a deep breath of good ass sweet prana coming in. Let go of your stress and your worries. Let your shoulders and your hands and your arms and your feet and every cell in your body relax. As you remember... To breathe deep and slow and let your energy rise and be charged through the universe. Remember your purpose, okay? Remember that you're here to help, to make the world a better place, okay? You're not here just to survive. <sighs> right, you remember that. So take a deep breath. And don't worry about it. You got this, okay? Your survival is insured. No need to worry about where the food will come tomorrow, if the sun will rise. Probably be on your control, right? So in a way, you have to let go and trust the sun will rise tomorrow. And if it doesn't, perhaps it'll come back. And if it doesn't, perhaps you'll be transported to another universe where you can thrive and 10x your life beyond what you could even imagine, all right? So if the doors are closing around you, you feel like your possibilities are being limited, you feel limited, let it go, breathe it out, and breathe in. Possibility, all right? Breathe in awareness, all right? Your limitation is only in your mind. That's the illusion, okay? That's not real. Look around you. You're surrounded by possibilities, okay? And infinite, infinite possibilities and abundance, infinite abundance, okay? Prosperity is yours. Abundance is yours. I'm so thankful for this life. I'm so thankful for the abundance. I am so thankful for the prosperity that I have now. Right? I'm so thankful for the love, the faith, the confidence, the strength, the wealth, the calm, the inner peace, the serenity, the joy, the happiness, the security, the hope, the connections, the abundance, the relaxation. Right? For all my material possessions. Um, for the ability to create illusions that serve me and those that don't. For realizing that all I need to do to control the universe and my surroundings and become a creator. I need only to control my breath. I don't need to control others. I don't need to control all my bad habits and all my lack of discipline and all my human foibles. <laughs> I need only to control my breath in this moment. To be empowered. Yeah. That's what's up, people. All right. Play this over and over, okay? Support your mind. Support your positivity. Support your abundance. Do it for 30 days in a row. It will change your life, okay? Change your life. Run these messages in your head. If you're not telling yourself yourself stuff like this all day, perhaps you're missing the mark. Get on target. Okay, I'm here for you. I love you. 
This is DC Troy wishing you 10x success, wishing you abundance, prosperity, calm, inner peace. And all you desire, I'm out.